The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On one of those days, Jesus was teaching. There were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with him to heal. And behold, men were bringing on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they sought to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into their midst before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said, Man, your sins are forgiven. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, saying, Who is this that speaks this blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questionings, he answered them, Why do you question in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, take up your bed, and go home. And he immediately rose before them, took up that on which he lay, and went home, glorifying God. An amazement seized them all, and they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen great things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, two great things are happening here. One, God is showing all of us, and especially the Pharisees and the scribes, that he has the power to forgive sin. But that almost becomes clouded by the other onlookers, because they marveled at the healing. Scribes and Pharisees were against Jesus, and so this whole forgiveness thing was huge for them. They didn't believe he could do it. The crowds were amazed at the healing, but Jesus wanted to preach one message, that he had the power over evil, that he could forgive sins. Pharisees and the crowds. But what is important also is the friends. It seems almost that this paralyzed man was paralyzed in more than one way. He doesn't say very much in this gospel. He, there's no indication that he wanted to be healed. His friends wanted him to be healed. And they went to extraordinary lengths to bring him into God's presence for this healing. They simply helped him into the presence of Jesus. Once he was in the presence of Jesus, the power of God, as we read, took over. How often do we look after our friends? I'm reading a really interesting book at the moment, written by a great man, Jean Venier. And he founded the Ark and the many different communities throughout the world now. These communities look after the mentally disabled. And their concept is to love them as equals and to see the mentally disabled as gifts from God to teach us about our lives. So other than what the world normally does is to shuffle those who are not like the normal people to the side, Jean Venier says, no, these are our particular blessings they can teach us something about God. These are true treasures. Very much like 
the friends today. They must have seen something in this paralyzed man that had touched them so deeply that they wanted to serve him, they wanted to care for him. And there were four of them. So it almost seems there was like a little community around this man. This man, it would seem, had something to offer these four people. And they knew it. And that's why they brought him to Jesus. What about you and I? There are so many marginalized people in the world. People who are very different from ourselves, even in our own families. There are people that we get on with easily, and people we don't get on well with. We have the argumentative ones, we have the peaceful ones. Maybe this Christmas we can spend more time with those that are unlike us, that are suffering in some silent way, even when they become violent in their speech towards us. They are the blessings that this paralyzed man represents. So today, as we assist ourselves, we accept the assistance that God gives us in the Eucharist, in the Word, in creation, in our health, but we are also called to assist, like these four men, those who are around us, and especially those who are suffering more than ourselves. To see them as our blessings, to assist them more than our friends. Because as Scripture tells us over and over again, when we are assisting those who have less than ourselves, we will be blessed even more than we are already blessed. So as we go ahead this week, to assist, to just look for those who need our help more than others. Amen.